Hey guys, it's me, Crazy Honda Chris at Randy Kill Honda in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And here behind me, I'm gonna have a 2023 Honda Ridgeline RTLE. Let's dive right in and show you all the cool standard features and functions. All right, folks, so here we are right outside the 2023 Honda Ridgeline RTLE. And for you, those are not aware about the trim, how that kind of works out, you start with the Sport, you get to the RTL, then you have the RTLE, the highest trim level is the black edition from this point. I'm going to walk around this particular trim to show you guys all the cool standard features and functions so you guys be aware of those before you arrive at your local Honda dealership to take out for a test drive. If you guys found these videos helpful, please consider hitting the like button. Subscribe to the channel. I'll keep these coming so you can stay notified. I also have other videos out there like tips and tricks to show you features you may not be aware of. Then also vehicle settings so after you purchase one, you can set things up the way you want. Let's jump in right now. All right, so here we are right outside the Honda Ridgeline, guys. As usual, we're going to walk right up here to the window sticker. Let's see if there's anything we can do about this glare here quick. Focus. There we go. If you guys are welcome to pause the video right there if you want to explore your own. Up on the top right-hand corner is going to talk about your fuel economy. You got 18 for the city, 24 for the highway with a combined of 21. Down on the right-hand corner is going to talk about your safety ratings. Look at that. Five out of five. Who doesn't love that? Right over here is where the vehicle's made at. This one's at Lincoln, Alabama. You can see it's a U.S.-made product. The price point on this particular one, this one does have a utility package and a function package. If we can get the camera to focus with all this glare, there we go. So you can see those packages. I will also post some additional packages with pricing right up there for you guys to know how it's gonna affect pricing for you guys ridge line from there, okay? Take a moment, look at that, see what it comes with those particular packages. Now we're gonna step right back here to the window sticker. You can see those list of standard features, which we're gonna to try to cover today for you guys. Now you guys are looking out there at the RTLE, it's going to have all this stuff here. Only difference is maybe it's going to be the packages that Honda puts on those vehicles, all right? Now this one's going to be Obsidian Blue Pearl, as you guys can see, 23 Ridgeline. I will also post some additional color options right up there for you guys so you know what colors are available. Then also there's going to be a surplus charge for that particular color, all right? Now you got two key fobs and remote start. To use a remote start, it's going to be super easy. All you have to do is hit lock. Hold this button down here for a few seconds. You'll see that light's gonna flash. It's gonna start right up. It's gonna heat and cool the vehicle. Runs in 10 minutes volts. So once that 10 minutes is up or you get close to it, you repeat the process, it runs from 10 minutes from that time too as well. So you can run for a grand total of 20 minutes if you time it properly, all right? Shut it right off. There we go. You have a 3.5 V6 with a nine speed automatic transmission. You have a heavy duty transmission cooler is gonna be in there. You can do up to 5,000 pounds of towing capacity. All of your Honda sensing features are standard. I'm talking about your lane keep assist, adaptive cruise, your forward collision, road departure, all right up there for you guys. Now, as we look at more safety, a little more kind of peace of mind, you're gonna have front and rear parking sensors right on the vehicle. There we go, as we're focusing right down here. So that's gonna be kind of nice. You have LED headlights, and you got your daytime running lights, it's gonna be right up here. From that point, you got a little bit of chrome action going on the front grille right there. So we'll take a little side view here on the front nose. We're gonna step right over here to these alloy rims. Nice, great finish alloy rims. I'm gonna step back in further so you can see a side profile of the vehicle. I'm gonna throw some exterior measurements up there so you know what kind of room you're gonna have. Is it gonna fit in your garage? How does it compare to you guys' current vehicle? Stuff like that so you guys will be in the know, okay? Now, part of the package, once again, you have running boards. Roof rails, crossbars, that's all part of the utility package. So if yours don't have the utility package, you will not have those items right there, okay? Now we have body colored side mirrors. We have chromed handles with a chrome action around the windows, a rear tinted windows as well. Now these side mirrors are gonna have little turning indicators right inside of them, and they're gonna be breakaway mirrors. So if you need to fold these in or out, just something hits them, they do fold, it's pretty nice and easy, okay? Then we're going to step here towards the back of the vehicle. You got the dual action tailgate. I'm going to show you that in one second. Hitch is right down below. You got dual chromed exhaust. We're going to have rear parking sensors. Right up here is going to be a four of these right back here. All right. Now for your dual action tailgate, you got your traditional way. It comes right there. It's a nice flat bed. So it's going to be great. It's loading things in, plywood, you know, outdoor adventure equipment, stuff like that. And then you're also going to have some courtesy tie downs. 
are right back there. Now, the dual action part comes from right here. You have a nice little release, reach right under, there we go. Then it opens up this way. So this is gonna be great when you got something that goes all the way to the back. It's gonna be easy to reach back here and then pull it right out. Then you're also gonna have a lockable and bed trunk. So a lot of people love this here. Now this particular one does have a function package. It's gonna come standard with the dividers. All right, so not all of them will have that unless you have the function, so it'd be great. So let's say I go camping, stuff like that, or just tailgating. I got my drinks over here, I got my sodas, I got my other adult per appropriate drinks over here for us adults. I can keep things divided from that point. You can use this obviously as a cooler, as I was just saying, because you got a little cork right there. It comes right out, okay? So pretty nice, a lot of space that's gonna be right in here for you guys. It's, it's massive, all right? Spare tire. The additional tools you may need for those unforeseen events. Close that right back up. Now with the RTLE, so we can do this with the cold fingers, you're going to have a plug-in right down here. You can turn this on and off within the cabin. So as we're doing tailgating, I can have, you know, a blender. So I make, you know, margaritas, a TV back here, whatever you need to plug in. It's going to be kind of nice. All right. Now there's one more cool thing I want to show you guys about the truck bed. Here we go. All right, so here we are. We got the in-bed trunk audio surround sound going on in here, guys. So it's playing, okay? So that's gonna be kind of nice when you're out there doing your tailgating, stuff like that. So you can choose, have your music right in here, blaring, or you can have it right out there and you can blast it, all right? So it'd be kind of nice as you're out there doing your tailgating and just camping or just doing stuff around the house out there, doing some projects. So there's that there for you guys, all right? That's only going to be available on the RTLE and then the Black Edition from there. There's the whole back right here. Now you're also going to have a rear multi-angle backup camera. Display it right up there for you folks. Right down here, let's take a look at this. Now... We're going to pop open the gas tank here quick. It's a release right there for you folks. Pops right open. Look at that. No longer a $2 cap to argue, debate with. It's a simple slide and go. Pretty darn nice and easy. Don't worry about replacing that cap or anything from there. When you're all done, just shut it right here, okay? So there's that. Now, we're also going to have a smart entry system to... So let's say the car's all locked up. I got it on and running right now, so it won't do it. Let's say the car's off and you have it all locked up, you put hand in the handle, it automatically unlocks that, okay? You can choose between all doors, and driver's side door too as well, from that point, and then you cannot accidentally lock your keys in the car. So for example, let's see if I shut this off. We have it off, I leave my key fob right in here, I hit the lock button, boom, we shut that, it automatically senses that, and it unlocks the doors for us, okay? So that's pretty nice. Now we also have the walk away auto lock feature too. So let's see if I take my key fob with me, I shut the door, I have the walkway auto lock feature enabled. I get so far away, boom, it locks all the doors for you so you don't have to second guess that I lock my doors, did I not? It's right there, you know, okay? So that's pretty nice. All right, I'm gonna take a break and warm up my hands. You can see they're kind of red. Then we're gonna talk about the interior next. All right, so here we are, right back now. We got our fingers nice and warm. We're gonna talk about your interior measurements now. I'm gonna throw it right up there for you guys to see how does it compare to you guys' current vehicle and other vehicles out there in its class, all right? Is there enough room for your pets, your passengers, cargo, right up there. Now, before we dive right into even more, I just wanted to make a quick statement about the independent suspension that you're going to have on this mid-size truck. It's going to ride so smooth. So make sure you take it out there on the bumper road before you accidentally take it off your guys' to look list from that point because nothing's going to ride as smooth as a Honda Ridgeline, all right? I can promise you that. Get out there, drive it, take it on bumpy roads for everything you're looking at. Uh, let's get right back here on the interior, okay? So we get the door open. It opens up pretty nice and wide, as you guys can see. You have a leather armrest. You guys know about pyro windows. Then you got a little cup holder right here with a nice little tray off to the side too as well. You can have a leather interior, come standard. That's what you get right here. Now we are gonna have some car seat buckles, anchors, behind each of these spots right here, all three. You have a headrest right up there, all right? 
open this right up and a little tray cup holders there's seat belt right here you got little indicators for if you have those car seat buckles anchors whatever you may need for all three are right there okay so pretty nice now we can have the magic sleep seats as you open that right up, magic seats come right up. Okay, both sides will do, will do that. It's gonna be a 60-40 split. Then you have a nice little courtesy tie down right over here too as well. If you need that, you can have one on the other side. Now you can get this really cool accessory from American Honda. It's gonna be like underneath storage unit. I have sold some ridge lines that a lot of people get those. It's kind of nice to get those. Now to release that, it's a whoop. There we go. Then you still get plenty of space here. So that's gonna be great dead space you can fill up when you do your outdoors adventures or just everyday kind of work stuff. Now you have a courtesy pocket right here and then a courtesy pocket right over there. Down below you get adjustable vents, then a couple USBs right there, 2.5 fast charges. Does not come standard with all season mats. I have them in here from American Honda so you can see what they look like when you guys order those too as well. Come standard with carpet mats, all right? So that was a lot to talk about this. Now let's jump right up front, okay? There we go. So now we're up front here. Let's take a moment, look at the driver's side door. You're gonna have leather armrests. You got two seat memory, so that's gonna be great. We're also gonna have the blind spot information system right here. It's gonna light up when the car is in your blind spot. So let's say I'm over here in your blind spot now. Here we are, it's gonna light right up when you go in the proper speed of 20 miles an hour faster. Then when you have your turn the indicator on, while somebody's in your blind spot, then it's gonna beep at you to let you know, hey, somebody's in your blind spot, okay? So that's gonna be nice. You can customize all of your Honda sensing features the way you guys want it with the beeps, no beeps, no, you know, just the you know, sensitivity of it all. It's pretty cool, or even have it completely off, all right? You got some tray action, gas releases we talked about, they're more, you know, storage space. We're gonna come right over here to your power seats. So you got your forward, you got your back, you got your up, you got your down, you got your little tilt action in the front half right here, then you got your lumbar, then you're reclined from there. You got your pedals, so get A to B, your parking brake right here, then your hood release. You know what? Let's show you underneath the hood right now. All right, so here we are right underneath the hood. I'm gonna show you guys some cool common courtesy stuff here, the things I know. If you guys have more of those advanced questions and wanna get to the knit and grit, contact your service center at your local Honda dealership. I'm sure they'd be glad, I'd be glad to assist you guys from that point, okay? So with that being said, let's talk about the little things that you may have time to do on yourself. For example, washer fluid, nice blue cap right here. Pretty nice and easy to find between all day and night. It's pretty quick and easy. Right here, you got a bright dipstick for your oil. Oil cap, brake fluid, it's a nice black cap right here. But then your battery is not the most easiest thing to get to, but also not the worst to as well. All right, so there's your battery connection from right there. Now let's jump right back up front. All right, so here we are right in the Honda Ridgeline. The next thing you want to do is actually just make sure you have the key fob with you. It's in my pocket right now. I got my foot on the brake. You can see this lights right up. It's just begging to be hit. Boom, watch everything to turn on from this point. Now, as things are turning on, let's talk about the controls over here on the left-hand side of your steering wheel. You have your mirror selectors, left and right, right here. We're left, we're right, we're in the center, we're neutral. You got your D-pad to adjust if you want to. Now, as we're talking about this, I know this is going to come up. I even have a video that talks about it, but I'm going to cover it right now for you guys. So, for example, let's say we got our mirror set up the way we want this to be, right? Let's just get it all set it up. Perfect. All right. Now, every time you put your vehicle into reverse, you do have reverse tilt. And it's gonna tilt right back down, as you guys have seen that, because I have the left mirror selected. If I have the right mirror selected, it will do the same. Now, if I put this in the center, it won't do it. So there you go, that's how you disable that, okay? We'll put that right back in park. You can have an econ button. As you select that, you can see econ is on, it's working, it's because you get this beautiful green leaf right up here to let you know it's on. Now, Econ's gonna make you more fuel efficient. It's most effective for your highway driving, all right? Because you're in the city, you're doing stop and go, stop and go. Now, you may see anywhere from two to four more miles to a gallon, depending on what kind of terrain and how you're driving your vehicle, all right? So, times when not to use that, let's say it's really hot during the summer, you gotta choose, do you wanna be fuel efficient or do you wanna be comfortable because it affects the power of your acceleration and your AC power and some electrical power up front. So that'll be a time when you don't want to, you gotta choose. For me, I'm gonna to choose to be comfortable, but it's totally up to you guys. 
Now right up here, you have your parking sensors. They are on, they're enabled, now they're off. Right back on. Your vehicle stability assist, your cargo lights. You get a little visual cue right up there. They're on and off from that point. Oops, I had the wrong one, there we go. All right there, cargo lights are on, cargo lights are off. Put you on the vehicles, there we go. Now you got your outside plug-in, as you can see. Remember that one back in the bed? Then you have your road departure, your forward collision, and then you get a heated windshield element right here. So yeah, those are all those buns. Right down over here, you're gonna have this release. It's gonna go out and in, up and down. Then lock it place where you want it. So that's gonna be pretty nice. Now we have everything kind of push out towards us. So let's kind of move back a little bit here. All right, actually let's push it right back in. Sorry guys. There we go. Now we can have all of your safety features over here on the right hand side of the steering wheel. You can see that right here controls let's talk about when you can see when they're on so right now they're not on we're gonna hit the main button as i just selected right here now you can see that your honda sensing is available you get your lane keep assist and your adaptive cruise control all right so if i hit main again guess what it's gone no longer available you can't use those items now they're back on so now this is gonna be a cruise control you can adjust the speeds for your cruise control right here then you have your adapted cruise control right here as i'm selecting this you can see those lines right up here on the right hand side we're selecting the distance between you and the car in front of you. All right, so more lines means further, less lines means maybe closer. So let's say, for example, I have my adaptive cruise control enabled. We're going 35 miles an hour. It finds a car in the range. It's going 30. It slows me down to maintain that distance from there. Now, once they get out of the way, whew, off to the side, I resume back to my 35 miles an hour from here, okay? So when you guys are out there for a test drive, play around with the safety features. Make sure the sensitivity and stuff like that, you can, you know, all that you're comfortable with. Now, for some reason, if you don't like that, you just click and hold it. Now it's standard cruise. It won't be doing adapted, it's slowing you down, stuff like that. So, or if you accidentally hold this button down for too long, at least now you know what happened from this point. This is gonna be your lane keep assist. You see those hollowed out dotted lines right now because we're not going the proper speed between 45 and 90 miles an hour, or we're not finding lines on the road. So this is gonna be for your highway driving. As you're driving down the highway, you grab your lane a little bit, it's gonna beep it, you can turn that beep on or off, and it kind of brings you back and recenters you from there. You shouldn't be playing ping pong, stuff like that. If you are, it's because it's not finding the lines on the road that well. All right, so it's really nice, very smooth. You can easily overpower if you need to. It's really just a nice, gentle guide I encourage you just kind of play around as you're out for your test drive, all right? Now, you're gonna have some options right here so you can navigate through your driver's interface. We're gonna get to that in a second. We're gonna get over here on the left-hand side. You got your music, your sources, stuff like that. Pretty nice and easy to use. You got your hands free for your phone. You can pick up the call, hang up, back out of the menu. You got also voice commands. You'd be like, call Crazy Honda Chris on mobile phone. Gives me a call and answer you guys' questions from there. Then you got your heated steering wheel right here. Just Push that right towards you. Look at that, it's on, it's off, it's on. So as we're talking about the steering wheel, it's gonna be leather, of course. We have paddle shifters here and here. You can adjust the brightness of your driver's interface right here. Got a little distracted. There we go. You got your wipers, adjustable and mitten. And then you got your headlights on auto, you got your fog lights right there. All right, so now that's everything right here on the steering wheel. We're gonna talk about the driver's interface now, okay? So as we're diving right in here quick, you can see your temperature gauge, your gas tank, speeder meter, tachometer, all right there. Outside temperature, and it's 44 degrees. It does not feel like that right now. We're on park. 13 miles. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys some options as you kind of play around with your driver's interface. I'm just right here, okay? We're hitting these keys. You have a direct tire pressure monitoring system. Check out my video too as well. It goes more in depth about that. A compass. And we're back here between trip A and trip B. And you can reset. All right, so that's your driver's interface from right there for you folks. Now, we're gonna talk about the touch screen now, right over here. So you have a nice big touch screen. You have a navigation that's gonna be in there. It's gonna be a Garmin navigation. Let's view this map. 
You can pair multiple phones. Information, you can choose what kind of information you want to be displayed up here. Music options. So you have a quick little mute button if you want to. So that's gonna be kind of nice. All right, so let's talk about what kind of music sources you guys are gonna have. So as you hit source, right up there on the top left hand corner, you got FM, AM, satellite radio. You get three months of that, of Sirius XM. A USB plug-in. You don't have a CD player, but hey, if you got any like books on tape, stuff like that, you can just simply download it onto a flash drive, then it's a plug-and-play if it's formatted there. And then you have your iPod, Pandora, smartphone connections, your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Bluetooth, then an aux. All right, so that's all of your music options right there for you guys. You have Honda Link right here. You can check out HondaLink.com. We show you which trim level is compatible for which package from there. We already talked about your truck bed audio system. Your smartphone connection is going to be Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. All right, so if you have an Apple phone, you have to get your phone charger, plug it into your phone. That's going to be plugged in right down here to your USB. Android phone is the same thing, but you just have to do one more additional step. is download Android Auto, allow their permissions in a plug and play. This is to take the, like your Apple Maps, Google Maps, other compatible apps, plays it right up here while charging your device and play through the speakers. So it's really nice for those that don't have the RTLE package with the navigation right there. And as navigation updates on your phone too as well all right so that's pretty cool now you're going to have a couple different things here blank slate so if you want to add any kind of apps um, from that you can all right so now it's pretty much everything right here on the touch screen for buttons wise from that point you got your home you got your menu you got your little back buttons you're navigating and you got a little starry moon right here so you can actually adjust the brightness hit that a couple times of your touch screen all right my fingers are cold again all right, or you can quickly turn it off. And there we go. So now it's your guys' touch screen right there. We're going to back right out, check a little more at the dash. You got your adjustable vents here, there, right over there. Then, of course, right over here by me, so keep me nice and toasty as well. Now you got your hazard lights right here. Now we're going to talk about the center controls. You got your temperatures. As you can see, everything's synced right now. I got the driver. I got the passenger, I got the different modes right here, I got the fan speeds, AC on and off, let's turn that back down, then you get your air circulation, off, auto, you get your rear, I just turned those guys off, I got our settings for rear settings right here, and then just in case if I got to accommodate for those people back there, I can, you know, just because the kids are like, I'm sweating to death, or you know, they're, they're who knows what? Cold. We can play around with their settings too as well. All right. Let's sync it all right back up. You get front defroster, rear defroster with heated side mirrors. Right down here, guys, you're going to have your heated seats. Three tier. You got a little space right here. Then you have a wireless phone charger, the 12 volt plug in. Then you, your, your uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto USB plug in from there. You got a nice little light kind of going on in here. Check that out. Boom. And you'll see that again within the trays. It's dark enough now within the handles. Now, we have a couple cup holders that we we're just talking about here. You got your little shifters. You know, let's say you're driving down the road. You can't just be like smacking these buttons. You have to apply onto the brake pedal. That's the safety mechanism right there, okay? So as I put my foot down on the brake, I put the vehicle into reverse as I pull back towards you. You can see it goes from red to green. That your multi angle camera automatically displays. These buttons down here is going to show you how the camera is going to act. So we have a nice 180 view. It would be great when you're pulling out of the parking lot. Then a straight behind you view. And then a straight down shot from your rear bumper, too, as well. All right. So pretty awesome. Now, as you turn your wheel, guess what? Yes, that changes colors to let you know your tires are not aligned and then you're not going straight. And then kind of get you what direction you're going for. This is going to be on and off, off, now on by the green bar. You can see that for your cross traffic monitoring system. So, as you get the vehicle into reverse and a car is coming from the side, from right behind you, it's going to point out what direction it's coming from. I do have a video show you guys that in play. Check that out too, as well, if this is going to be a first time for you guys to experience that, okay? 
So let's put it right back in park. You got your drive, you have a neutral, then you have an S mode right there too as well. So it's gonna be kind of nice. Now we're gonna have idle stop. It's gonna be standard with this vehicle with idle stop. Every time you get to a stop as an idle for a few seconds, if the requirement is met like uh, your car is to temperature, or your cabin's to temp and other stuff like that, it shuts off the engine, okay? To make it more, more fuel efficient and emission awareness if you don't like that i understand you can hit this button right there then there we go to get this beautiful orange a right down here to let you know hey idle stop well not enabled all right so there it is how cool is that now we have your intelligent traction management button it's gonna be this one right here as you select that you can see it right there on the driver's interface screen we're gonna have normal snow mud and sand it's gonna change how your car is gonna to perform to optimize your handling in those environments so you're just less likely you're gonna spin out and get stuck stuff like that okay so we're gonna come right over here open this right up you got a little lights or you gotta have a 12 volt plug-in uh knocks and a usb we have a little tray here. I can hide my quarters from my son. Six-year-old son's already counting money. He's put them in the piggy bank. Now I can hide them and hand them to him as I want. Armrest, mine, hers, or friends. There we go. Passenger got theirs. Glove box is lockable. Let's check it out. Plenty of space in here. Throw what do you want in there? You're gonna forget about it. It's like a whole new dimension. It like warps someone else. Okay, so. Got some additional buns right over here. There we go. Now let's kind of talk about what's up here. We have an auto dimming rear view mirror, garage door opener. Let's see, can you guys see that? Well, that light really didn't help. So, yep, you have a three buns here and an off for your auto dimming. We have a one touch power moonroof. Opens, closed, tilts, everything on the power moonroof should be doing. This is going to be for that rear window. Got to hold it. So if I don't want it all the way open or closed, there we go. And your map lights. Places for the sunglasses and a little conversation mirror. So as I'm driving back, you know, driving around, I can keep an eye who's back there. Now, a really cool thing I forgot to mention about this is... You know what, let's jump right out, let's jump right back. You got the stadium seats, all right? Stadium seats, so be careful who you throw back here for a backseat driver, because now I will be looking right over myself. I can see everything that my driver sees too as well. So that's gonna be really awesome right there for you guys, okay? Now let's check the uh, visors here quick. Got a little courtesy lights right in this one and right here.